How's it going guys? Today we are spending the last couple hours with the Civic SI. To make the story short, I did record a whole video of me talking about why. Um, however, I don't think I'm going to post it. I will tell you right now why I'm selling my 2008 Civic SI. To start off, I really love this car. Um, it's treated me so well. To start off, I really, really love this car. Um, I've really enjoyed my time with it so far, and it's just been and it's just been nothing but a blast. Super reliable, good on gas, cheap to maintain. Really, the perfect car for someone who doesn't want to worry about their car blowing up, but wants to have fun. I didn't plan on selling it anytime soon. However, if you guys didn't know, I recently just got a puppy. His name is Butto. He's a golden retriever, and he's going to be around 100 pounds, and he's going to get very big. So currently, I have a coupe. I have a Honda Civic coupe. Whenever I do put him in the back, he already barely fits. Um, and most of the time, because it's a coupe and I need storage space, I need to fold down one of, the one of the seats back there to fit my stuff. And then he doesn't fit at all. So that is the reason why I'm selling my car. Um, he just doesn't fit. It's not fair to my puppy. And so I just need a bigger car. And I know some of you may be thinking, why don't you just get the sedan? The sedan does have uh, more space, more leg room. However, the the trunk isn't much bigger. It's not that much bigger, to be honest. Um, and I'm still gonna have the same issues. We're gonna have to fold down the chair and he still won't fit. So, however, I do plan on getting a newer gen, maybe a ninth or 10th gen uh, Civic Si in the future and maybe the next upcoming future, the near future, who knows. Um, for the time being, I, I, I do plan on getting a hatchback. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but I will say it does have a bigger boot. Yeah, so I actually have been testing a bunch of cars. Um, I'm pretty excited to, to, to experience a new car. Um, feel like a little kid at a candy store again, sh car shopping. Testing out all these awesome cars, and now that I have a, a better budget to buy one, I can definitely buy a way cleaner car, um, and I'm pretty excited. So I didn't bring my get, my GoPro, unfortunately. So I actually live um, in uh, in Alberta, Canada, in a place called Lethbridge. Um, however, like I found it to be very difficult to sell my car. I don't know if the mic's gonna stay there. However, I did find it very difficult to sell my car there, um, just because there's not much population. There's not a lot of people surrounding Lethbridge. And where, I, where my parents live and where I grew up is called Airdrie. It's, it's around Calgary, Alberta. Um, it's way easier to sell my car here. Unfortunately, I don't live here anymore. So it is kind of a huge rush. I just posted our, on, our, on our Craigslist or Kijiji and it basically instantly sold. I got a buyer, we negotiated. I, I got exactly what I wanted out of the car. I got list price, which is awesome. And, um, oh, Siri shut up. I got list price, which is awesome and so, I'm selling it. Um, it's I didn't I didn't even plan on selling it this weekend. I, I thought I would maybe sell it in the summer, but I just so happened to get all the money I wanted for the car, so it's kind of hard to pass up. So, yeah, so it's been a debacle. It's been a kind of crazy. And the reason why this weekend just so happened to kind of work out is actually because, and the reason why this weekend I was kind of rushed into selling it last second is because I'm rarely in at, in my hometown. <clears throat> And it's actually Easter weekend and I took off about two extra days for the holidays. And so I was here for five days and it just so happened to work out and so I sold it. I I think I do have another car lined up. I think no. So the person I'm selling my car to, they got an inspector to come out and quickly inspect the car. They got a mobile inspector to come to come check out the car, make sure it's all good. Pass with flying colors. In fact, this car had zero issues. I'm actually really surprised. Um, I know this car is great. All right, guys, so people are on their way. They are about 
five, ten minutes away from Airdrie to pick up the car. And I'm gonna do my last series of VTEC pulls. Nice little quick first gear pull. There'll be more. There will be more. Remember you. Will you remember me? Watch me get pulled over. That's the sound of the police. Let's go, baby. Gonna miss that noise. Hit the hate Honda Civics all you want, but know that VTEC is awesome. It may not be, may not be good as a, as a V8 or a turbo vehicle may not have the power but man VTEC engines VTEC cars are really fun to drive in fact I would take a fun to drive car over a fast but not fun to drive car any day of the week